Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another brand new Android Studio tutorial and today in this video I will show you that how to pass data from one activity to another using shared preference. So from the last tutorial itself we have the idea about using the shared preference inside the Android app and uh, today in this video I will show you that uh, how to use that shared preference to pass the data from one activity to another. So let me show you how I am doing it inside the Android Studio. So first of all, I just want to introduce the elements that I'm using inside this Android Studio application. So we have a edit text, three buttons and a text view. So from the last tutorial itself, we have the edit text, two buttons and one text view. And uh, now I added a new button that is let's go, which is going to so when, it's, when it is clicked, it will be going to open the second activity, which is the result activity. Now let me show you the codes, edit text, button, button and in case if you're watching this particular tutorial then all you have to do is this is a just a basic idea you don't have to actually do anything at all <laughs> that's it. Okay so let me show you the uh, this activity file that is the result activity which is the second activity so here I have added a text view which is going to get the data from the first activity and uh, in the text view we can see the saved data from the shared preference so there is a text view and uh, now in the main activity from the last tutorial itself we have the buttons edit text and we also return the code for the shared preference and uh, and uh, right now I have added a button which is uh, go bt that going to just go from the main activity to the result activity so main activity is my first activity and result activity is my second activity in which it will be showing the result which is uh, the data from the shared preference so yeah simply I just add a uh, indent to go from one activity to another we already discussed about the indent and all these steps in the previous tutorials in case if you miss it you can press the i on the top right corner and go to that tutorials. Okay, so in this video, I will show you that how to get the data from this shared preference, which we discussed in the previous tutorial. And uh, we are going to get the data from this shared preference and uh, passing it into the second activity. Now, what we have to do is that we have to simply keep in mind the string name that we have given, that is the my da saved data is the string name that I given to this shared preference. And we have the value that is going to be the key is actually my value and uh, yeah that's all we have to keep in mind now let's go to the second activity and in the second activity i have given a text view i just added the reference into that text view now what we have to do is we have to simply create a shared preference and i just want to name it as result then uh, preference equal to now simply same as what we have done we have to get the data so get shared preference and the string name is going to be the exactly the same thing that we have given in the previous activity that is main activity so in that we have the my server data so we have to simply type my okay so once that done we have to simply add the context that is going to be context dot now we have to add the mode that is private and that's it once that done, what we have to do is we have to simply I'm going to create a new string for the better understanding. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just get the value from the shared preference into a string and simply just showing the string as the text for this text view. So I'm going to add a string with the name as so my string value then equal to I want to get the value from this from this shared preference. So result preference then dot get string and we have the get string then a string key and a string default value which is going to be the same thing that we have given over here so I'm just copying it pasting it okay now the my value is going to be the same thing that we have given in the previous activity and uh, we have to simply change it into my default or maybe like same as that one data not found 
Okay, now we have the data inside the string. Now we have to pass the string value into a text view. So in my case, I have named the text view as result display. So I'm going to type result display dot set text. And inside that, I just want to give it as my string value. In this second activity, we have added the shared preference with the same key that is the same string name from the previous activity. You can see my saved data, same as that one, my saved data. Once that done, what we have uh, just done is that simply created a string or you can simply, instead of creating the string, you can maybe, maybe if you want to just reduce the number of lines, then you can simply copy the things up to here and paste it between these two brackets so that will be working perfect so now we are ready and uh, yeah if you didn't get any idea about what I'm saying then you can just watch the previous tutorial once again and uh, in case if you're new to my channel and yeah now let's go and try this in a real Android device okay guys so we have the Android app in the Android device and here is the Android app I'm going to type something inside the edit text okay now I'm going to click the save and uh, once that done i'm going to the second activity so pressing the let's go button now i'm in the second activity and you can see we have the data from the shared preference inside the text view now i'm going back and i'm going to change the data and now i'm pressing the save button once again now going to the second activity again and you can see the data has been replaced and uh, if i close the application and turn it back again now you can see when i'm going to the second activity we have the saved data from the shared preference inside the text view so that's it and thanks for watching and i hope to see you in my next video